What is going on guys, Tiswalfa here, and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Now last time we left off, we brought back both Floofty and Shelda to Snacksburg, and that means we're really close to the end of you guys. We just need to do a few more interviews, I think we have like either three or four interviews or something like that. I think maybe, is there five interviews? There may be five interviews. If there's five interviews, I need to do like three of them this episode. Hold on, let's check the book. How do I check that easily? I guess I go here, and oh, it's already pulled up. One, two, okay, it's just four. Whew, that's good. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, we still have to do that. And then we have this one over here to crack the code for Egabel. It's an Egabel like quest. With the fine notes on the mountain map, I don't know what that is, but last episode or uh, last season, we already had that done. So I don't know where necessarily we're having to do that. Probably get it from, oh, Looks like Floofty's going to talk to Snorpy about something. Floofty? Snorpington? So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpinati scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward, I- You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. Oh yeah, he'll tell him a little bit later and of course, he already knows, Chandler already knows, he already thinks they're together. So anyway, Snorpy, I might as well start an interview with you because I think you and Chandler and- I do Cromdo yet? Oh, I still haven't even done Cromdo. Jeez. All right, well, let's do Cromdo. We've had him for a while, so let's talk to him. Let's interview him. Have time for an interview? All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> yeah, right. That's not happening. <laughs> I'm like, maybe he's, he turns into, like, what, a music publisher or something like that? Anyway, let's start the interview. There we go. All right, let's start out with who are you, Cromdo? Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! <laughs> you guys remember season one? I just remembered. We did the interview for Crondo, and he looked like, what, a bunch of tacos or enchiladas or something like that? I forgot what he, or burritos. I don't know what he looked like, <laughs> but he looked horrifying. At least now we're interviewing him. He, he looks like... He looks like Cromdo, to be quite honest, but that's not going to be happening when we interview Shelter, right? <laughs> Anyways, why'd you come to Snack Tooth Island, Cromdo? You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. Well, what was your dead-end job you had before you came to Snacksburg? Nah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission for grump's sake. What are your thoughts on bug snacks? <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby. <laughs> Why did you leave town? Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. Yeah, what it, he stole, if I remember correctly, Befica took a picture of Cromdo stealing Lisbeth's projector, I think, right? Something like that. Weren't you stealing? Yeah, weren't you stealing the projector? I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Befica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Planted evidence with a stolen diary? It might have been a fake diary. We have a fake diary right now. <laughs> of course she planted the evidence. Anyways, any info on Lisbert? Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader, but I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Egabel her fix. The rest of us were just pssst, disposable. Disposable? That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, savage as heck. That's Elizabeth Megafic. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. Oh, what do you mean? I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. 
<laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. No, we know where they are, and they're not really living large, to be quite honest. Calm down, Gromdo, that's enough for now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest Grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. <laughs> you always know what you're gonna get. Trash. <laughs> Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisburn after that. I forgot that he did that, like, trash thing right there. I forgot. And then, of course, we compared him to Danny DeVito in, in season one. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is the map that is on Boiling Bay, and it shows it. Did we even get that yet? Come on, is that what we're looking for, uh, for Agabelle? Let's see. <laughs> Shelda. I forgot she looked like that. Oh, I did get comments from someone saying, hey. The teeth, the green teeth, those might be the fruity snack pods that I uh, I fed her. And there's Flutter Jam arm there, Lasodi uh, leg, a lot of, you remember how many of these honeybees that we got? Yeah, a lot of arm and leg honeybees there. We got a random, uh, uh, not a bobsicle, but uh, Palitas up there, and then a Coco Mite there, and then uh, the, the Binopper there for the nose. <laughs> she, and of course we have the, uh, the not the Noodler. Was it the Noodler? Yeah, the Stoodler is the one that's on the mountain. Yeah, we gave her Noodler for the body there. Well, we didn't do it. Actually, we can change her, right? It gives us, yeah, it gives us the ability to change. Ooh, and because we gave her so many things, I kind of want to experiment. What does she look like full on Cocomite though? <laughs> Coconut nose. Oh, I can't see the Coco. Yeah, well, she doesn't open up her mouth very often, does she? So I can't really see. <laughs> and then the body. <laughs> She just looks like a bunch of coconuts with straws coming out of them. That looks so ridiculous. Yeah, fruity snack pod. What'd that look like? Oh, that was fruity snack pod for the nose? I thought that was like Monopper or something like that. Well, if we turn her, yeah, because it's a snack pod. Look at all these fruit here. What are those, like oranges or mangoes or something like that? Wait, I can't see the teeth. There. Oh, jeez. Her body's just a big mixture of everything there. She kind of looks camouflaged, though. Like, if she goes out, she probably... What about Flutter Jam? Yeah, of course, uh... Okay, jelly, tote, like, uh, bread, just on the head in general. <laughs> and then, uh, one for the nose there. Can't see the teeth still. And then, oh yeah, just, yeah, we did, we did do Flutter Jam for someone, and they, they're pretty nasty looking, like a bunch of, like a bunch of peanut butter jelly sandwiches stacked on top of each other. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that looks really weird. What about Melty Snack Pod? Oh, that was probably her teeth! Yeah, see, look at the green Melty Snack Pod. It's like, it kind of looks like M&Ms or something like that. So I did that, and the, once again, it's just like a pile of M&M, like a cut M&M for the horns there. <laughs> that looks so nasty. Lasodi, what does that look like if we do, uh, oh, jeez, that is looking horrible. <laughs> just a kid, and, <laughs> tabs for, and then all the, oh my gosh. You know, I kind of like that. She kind of looks like the Tin Man or something there. What, what are the teeth, oh, oh, whoops. What do the teeth look like? Did we, did we do teeth for her, uh, oh, they're straw teeth, of course. <laughs> She looks so weird! An actual can of soda, just with straw arms and can of soda hands and can of soda thighs and straw teeth and a can of soda on the- Ugh. <laughs> That's so nasty. Oh yeah, what about the- Oh, well, we, don't we don't have too much stuff. He, he has honeybee arms and legs and like, uh, I think he has cinda snail hands and feet and a nose. And I think that's it. We need to give him more stuff. Well, let's go over here. Let's go see if uh, that map that Cromdo just gave to us, see if we even got whatever that map leads us to, because I feel like we didn't. Oh, then there's Tropic. Yeah, we need to capture more and more bug snacks. Hold on. Let's do... Oh, whoops, didn't mean to put that up. Let's do that, and then, uh... There you go, hopefully we can get the Shishka bug easily. No, it's go... Man, it went into the bug... No, the Pinantula hit the trip shot right there. Nothing happened. Man! Now I don't think the, uh, the Tropic Bug is going to come out for us. Ah, let's- Oh, let's do, uh, we never even got the Waffle Guy over here. We didn't get the Waffle Stack Rack. Although, the Sweetie Fly was over there taking a nap. We never got the Waffle Stack Rack, did we? What time is it? Seven? Oh, we can still do it! We can still do it! Ring the breakfast bell! Oh my god, the Raspies. I can hear them. <laughs> and then there, there are the Waffle Stack Racks. Uh, whenever we first rang the bell, it was, it was, like, it's still, like, really weird looking, seeing these, like, stacks of waffles with bacon appendages. Just spinning tornadoes or whatever meme that they do. Oh, oh my god, that one waff stack rack knocked out another one, and then the other one ran into the trip shot. We got both of them there. That was awesome. Holy. Yeah, we remember we already turned, uh, Gramble 
into full Wolf Stacker Act uh, in Season 1, so we're not going to be doing that again. I don't even think we even gave him anything in this season, did we? I think he's full on default. Like, he looks completely normal if we go talk to him. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, we definitely do need to turn him into something because we can't just leave him default or else we'll, you know, we won't get that achievement, unfortunately. Go over here. I guess we can go get that Scoopy. Or, uh, oh, what's that one called again? The Scoopy's the one that's on the mountain. I forget what the name of this ice cream cone is over here. But did we get this thing, though? I'm kind of curious. Well, there's a backpack. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. I, th I was wondering, well, where? I still don't know where the find notes on mountain map thing is, then. Either way, I guess we can get to. Oh, yeah, we have to freeze it, though. Hold on. I might be able to lure it over here. Can I lure it over here? What's it like? Is it like chocolate? It does. Loves chocolate. Hates. Oh, of course, the fire creature. So I guess I can cover this in chocolate. Thankfully, we have a pretty good amount of chocolate. So, Trappy, go into the water, but not into the water. But let's try and lure. No, he's afraid of me, though. Man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Go into the water. He's chasing me. He's angrily chasing me. Oh, oh nice. Nice. I can capture him. That was easy. Just lure him into the water and then boom. Sherby. <laughs> oh, Sherby. I love that name, too. It's like Sherbert Ice Cream. And then we have uh, Palatos over here. I don't, I don't, I'm like, I guess we could try and get him, but let's see. We could get these guys over here as well, just to try to, you know, get more and more bug snacks. How did I? I got, oh, there's a grumpy snack bottle. Oh, man, he, he came over here. You know what? Wait, hold on. What? He split up? No. I, yeah, he didn't split up yet. Oh, I'm still frozen. Come on, get over here. I want to see if I can lure one into... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hit the lava, and then we can we can have him snap off and become two Palatos, right? No, he didn't hit the lava. He hit the rock. Man. And I can get that grumpy snack pot up there. Or a uh, fruity snack pot, I believe. Let me get that one. Got it. Snack pot. Snack pot. Come over here. I just want to... Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Okay, yes, yes, yes. We got him. We got him. Okay, come out. Come out of the lava. Come out of the lava. Come out of the lava, and then we can capture you. He's still on fire. Have you ever seen ice cream on fire? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is he not about to blow up, though? Shouldn't he be about... The oh. Yeah, what in the world? The count... Oh, he ran into something. And, you know, I, I want to wait for him to explode, though. I want to wait for him to explode so we can get both of them. And it counts as two. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, he rammed into us. He's about to explode. He's going to blow. He's going to go. Oh, there we go. Okay, we should be able to get them both, right? There we go. Balitas, balitas. Okay, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we can get two bug snacks for one right there, which is great. So we can continue feeding those to everyone. We need to... Oh, you know, I never really did the math. If there's like 14 body parts and we have 10 grumpuses, we actually do need to capture over 100 grumpuses. Holy heck. And uh, I think the only grumpuses we have fully transformed right now are Philbo and Shelda and Egabel. So, yeah, we still need to catch a lot of, a lot of bug snacks. And I guess, you know what, for stuff that's, like, relatively easy like this, boom, where did it land? Oh, gosh, it hasn't, there we go. <laughs> you know, I can go do the same thing, oh, my God. Ugh, snack -eary. It's a snackery covered in hot sauce. That's got to be the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> All right, let's try to get the pinantulus covered in chocolate. There you go. And he grabs it, and he's going to go throw it over there by his, like, crab shed or whatever that is. Let's do the same things with these uh, snackeries over here, too. And I wonder if we can get them if they land in the water, though. There we go. And oop. hopefully it lands. Oh, this one's covered in chocolate, so. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. No, you can't do it if they land in the water. They just come back over here and burrow again, and then. Man, okay, well, there's another snack pod. Grumpy snack pod. Snack pod. Snack pod. Yeah, remember last time we did, uh, I think in season one, we did full on Befica or uh, grumpy snack pod for Befica and she looked horrible. Wait, what am I putting that there for? Whoops. I want to put this here and then get rid of that. There you go. I want to get the buggy ball. There you go. And we'll try and spook it out of there with the buggy ball. And there we go. Oh, switch, switch. We got him. We got him. We got him. Orange peel bug. Peel bug. Peel bug. I guess we can try and tr capture raspies by using the trip shot just as a meme. You know, you wouldn't use a trip shot to try and capture something like a raspy, right? But I guess we can try. Oh, it all it almost it almost just went over there. Oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot about the panantula. Ah, it's probably free by now. Look at that. That is extremely complicated to try and capture a raspy. All you really need to do is just place down the snack trap and then you're good to go. We could uh, get two of them for 
Oh wait, where's my buggy ball at right now? Oh, there it is, right there, cool. We could get two bug snacks at once right here, because I think there's an orange peel bug in there already, which is good. So let's let our uh, little sprout... No! The rasby came out! No! No, the peel bug, no! Man, oh, I just wanted to get both at once. Okay, whatever, I'll get that rasby. <laughs> there you go. Rasby! I don't know if I can do that voice very well, but it's super cute. Like, I genuinely... Like, it, it, it's the cutest thing yet. It's cuter than the shrabby one. Oh, whoops. Hold on. I got another peel bug? Peel bug. Peel bug. We got him. And then we got the Queeble. That was super duper cute as well. Like, pretty much all the bug snacks you, you encounter early on in the game are, like, extremely cute. Then they start getting, like, to meme levels. And then, of course, you've got to love the bunger. Bunger, 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 bunger. We got to go capture some more of those. Should we go get the barbecue bunger? See, I, in season two, I'm basically trying to remember how I caught every bug snack. And I'm not remember. Well, I guess we could use the trip shot on it. But like back then, when we first caught the barbecue bunker, we didn't have the trip shot. So it was kind of tricky to tr capture that thing, right? Because I think in uh, Garden Grove, we captured the regular bunker by using the trip shot. And so if we captured a regular bunker using the trip shot, we could capture. Oh, and we can get. Yeah, we can get sweet flies too. Now, I, I, did I test this out yet? to capture sweetie flies whenever they're resting to capture them with the snack grappler because i think i got comments about it i might have already tested it but i want to i want to try it right now okay that one's going to go to sleep Let's see if it works he's basically oh no it did not work it did not work Ooh. okay so you do have to wait you, you do have to put the lunch pad or the the snack trap on the lunch pad and then launch it at the sweetie fly whenever it's resting like this Wait, do you have to wait till it's resting? I don't think you can. I don't think you have to, right? Well, maybe you do, because that one didn't work right there, unfortunately. Man! Yeah, I, I think you do have to wait until it's west resting, unfortunately. Oh, it's going to go to... No, not yet. And I think we gave Gramble some of these, uh... Like the, 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 can, like the rock candy, sweetie fly. I think we gave him, like, arms or... Oh, he's about to go to sleep. I think we gave him, like, arms or something like that, and it looked really weird. Oh! Oh! No, what? What? Come on! You've got- Okay, forget the sweetie flies. Forget the sweet- Oh, let's just go get something that's a little bit easier. I'm just trying to stack up on bug snacks. <laughs> stack up. I'm waffle. Waffle stack up on bug snacks. <laughs> Stupid. Oh yeah, we still have to get the, uh, the jalapeno guy over here. The jalapeno scorpeno guy. And oh yeah, pop dicks. Those are really easy too. Yeah, pop, pop, pop dick, pop dick. We need to go get the pop dicks down there. Cover them in, uh, hot sauce because it- Oh, it popped right there. Cover these guys in hot sauce, because he does not like them. He's going to attack them, and then they're going to turn into popcorn. That one about to pop? No, they went into water. Man, oh yeah, well this one was easy, because we could just lure it into water, right? So that's what we did last time. Lure it into water, and then, uh... Oh no! Oh! Shoot, shoot, shoot! There we go. See if we can uh, cover it in hot sauce, and they'll come over here, right? Wait, hold on, what does he like? Does he like the hot sauce? No, oh yeah, he loves the cheese. Thankfully we have some cheese, so let's put some cheese over here. Then he's going to come over here. Hopefully. And hit the trip shot. And of course, he'll go into the water. Remember that, too. He should go into the water, hit the trip shot. He'll get, like, extinguished. And then... He'll get captured from the... Oh! Wait, no, he got... Oh, he, he just hits the water and then he... Okay, it's a lot simpler. Scorpino. Scorpino. Yeah, I'm overcomplicating stuff over here, you guys. Oh, yeah, ribblepeats. We need to get ribblepeats, too. I doubt you can get those with the uh, Snack Grappler. Cause we, yeah, last time we did not have to snack grappler for the ripple pe for this section, right? There it is. Yeah, see, it just attaches, and that's it. Well, I guess if anything, we could use this on. Oh, 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 oh. Boom! Got him. Didn't even need to use uh... a. Ripple Ripplepeed. Oh yeah, that was terrible. I, I just don't want to strain my throat trying to do that, right? <laughs> oh, but yeah. Oh, there was another one here. Holy heck, I didn't see that. No, Ribblepeed, come here. What, what does he like again? Oh yeah, I was about to say he likes hot sauce, but that's so weird. Hot sauce on ribs, right? Come on, get him. Oh! Oh, oh, he got knocked out anyways. Ribblepeed. The Spuddy knocked him out anyways. Ribblepeed. Hey, pitch shift that, like, to sound like the Ribblepeed. Okay, that that, sh that should sound good. Ribblepeed. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to sound in the end. Hopefully it sounds accurate. I doubt it does, though. But here's the barbecue. Bunger, bunger, bunger. bunger Let's see. Bunger, 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 bunger. How can I cat? Like, there you go. Then. Where, where can I shoot? Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, here we go. Oh, that's going to be good. Barbecue bunger, hit the trip shot. We got him! We got him! The barbecue bunger is caught! 
Bunger. Bunger. I love the bunger. It's such a, it's, it's so, I don't know what it is. It's so cute. It's so delicious. It's, uh, it's such a meme. It sounds so funny too. Whenever it says bunger, bunger, bunger. Oh, I love it. But we need to get the Scorpino over here to hit the pop ticks. Oh wait, we just need to get one pop tick actually. Yeah, so there you go. That pop tick is on fire now. Hopefully we can actually get it. Uh, oh yeah, we need to get the snap trap back. And it just popped. Oh, I like the popcorn sound it just made right there. Like it was popping. Because uh, I'm like it was. So there you go. Cover that in chocolate. Oh, it's spooked though. Let's get away from it. There you go. I guess if anything, I could hit it with a trip shot too, right? So I'm like, what's stopping me, right? Yep. Oh, whoops. Oh, the pop tick's on top of the... Whoop! No! No, we got... Oh, he got spooked! No, man! All right, put it on the walls and stuff. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Oh, hit the trip shot. Oh, you, oh, you could probably do some strategies by putting, uh, shooting the trip shot with that. Oh, yeah, maybe it's just like the lunch pad where you could use the, the trip shot to, to basically shoot, or the, uh, the trap, snack trap to basically shoot the trip shot anywhere you want. Kind of like you could place the trip shot down, you could place, uh, I guess I could try that over here. You know what? We need to cover that in chocolate. Whoop. Oh, that overshot it. Whoop. Oh, he loves the chocolate, but what am I missing? There we go. All right, hopefully he hits the chocolate there. Oh, perfect! He landed right on it! Pop-tick. pop -tick. Well, now we can go back, because we got a full backpack of bug snacks. Let's go feed them to everyone, or anyone that doesn't already have full-on bug snacks. Because I don't want to waste these, right? And then, uh, we'll hopefully be a little bit closer to getting everyone turned into and fully transformed into bug snacks. So who is... Oh my gosh, the actual... Not frames per second, but seconds per frame. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh, Philbo! I forgot he looked like that! Oh, Oh my gosh, that's nasty. He looks like half... Uh, was it? I, you guys already know. I already talked about it. It's so weird, though. Ugh. Eggler, Rudel, Shishkabug. Oh, did we do Shishkabug yet? Did we do full shit? I don't think we did. <laughs> He's got a, he looks like a clown with that tomato nose right there. Oh my gosh, Felbo! <laughs> He's got a giant mushroom on the top of his head. Oh my gosh! He kind of looks like uh, the Michelin Man or or like the Stay Puff Marshmallow guy. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Trifini, do we? Yeah, we already interviewed her, right? Yeah, how's your weed? Yeah, we need to we need to feed her stuff. Let's give her yeah more ribble beads, sure. There you go, right leg. Oh, ew, when you do it to a thigh, it's two of them. Ew. That's nasty. Let's do uh, another arm. There you go, her hand. There you go. Rasby, let's do a Rasby nose. We gave her like, we made her look like a pickle last time. Oh, cool. <laughs> Rasby nose, you can barely even tell it's there too. Yeah, if we turn, what if we turn her into full-on Ribblepeat, though? Oh, ew, that looks nasty with that. It kind of looks like a like a horn or something like that, like a rhinoceros horn. Shy weenie worm. Orange peel bug. Yeah. There you go. And... Sherby? What's that going to be? Head? Oh! <laughs> it's just a big stack of ice cream on her. She's balancing it. And the, the, the bottom one's green, too, so it kind of looks like it matches with her skin. That's cool. <laughs> And she's eyeing down the grumpy snacker of the school. What about the Scorpino? For like a horn or something. Isn't that nifty? Oh, man, that's like the green version of the, uh, the, the, whatever the pepper one that we gave to Philbo. I forget if it was this season or last season again, but yeah, it looked absolutely disgusting. It looked like a little devil. <laughs> Barbecue Bunger, what if we did that, though? I kind of want to do that for like a body, but we could, we could do that. We could do that later because we have the snack experiment thing. Oh, it's just a curly fry like ear. That's kind of weird. What about grumpy snack pod bot? Oh, yeah, we already did that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do Bleh. <laughs> I don't want to do that already. Oh, what about the, uh, here we go, snack kiri. Snack kiri. Oh, we didn't do teeth yet. Ooh. What in the umbrella teeth? What? <laughs> what about Rasby body? There we go. Oh, well, I shouldn't, I'm, like, honestly, that kind of makes sense. I shouldn't really be expecting something else. But now we can experiment with her. What about, what about full-on Sherby, though? Ice cream cone horns, ice cream cone nose, ice cream cone teeth. Arms are just more ice creams, and then the hands are cones. Oh, what in the, oh, then the body's like a mixture of, ugh, that looks so, ugh. Man. What happened to you, Triffany? <laughs> She's just balancing a big stack of ice cream on top of her head and she's like, Ugh. Oh, what's happening over here? 
Mind your own beeswax. Oh, do, yeah, we still have some, uh... We still have some bug snacks. We can feed them to Cromdo. Let's do a waffle. Uh, nose? What is that? Oh, it's just a weird, like, triangle slice of a waffle. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's say... Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, save that. Let's give it to someone else. Palatos. He already loves... Uh, well, he loves the bobsicles. He doesn't like the palatos. So, there you go. You know what? Yeah, it makes sense to put that on his legs. He's already got the bobsicle feet down there, so it makes sense that the, the thighs would be, like, sticks. <laughs> Then we have Fruity Snack Pod. There you go. Put that on his head, sure. What in the world is that? Like, dried fruit. I don't know what that is. Grumpy Snack Pod? What is that? Oh, this is going to be nasty, right? Yeah, just a gummy bear just on his ear. What? <laughs> orange peel bug. Horn. Oh, it's like an orange slice and then a pop tick. Is this body? Oh, it's teeth. Oh, ew. It's like corn kernels. Yeah, we already saw. Oh, and then fl yeah, flame and cheap for the body. That's perfect. He barely even changed. You can't even tell that he's bug snack. That's cool. You know what? We should turn Cromdo into full-on flaming hot cheap poof. Like, what's that going to look like? Like, he probably looks pretty normal on. Like, look at that. He looks really normal. Well, except for his big <laughs> puffy nose that he has right there. <laughs> but other than that, like, he looks red. You know, kind of orangish red. Like his normal self. He looks pretty normal there. That's pretty good. You know what? Let's keep him like that. I like that. And the <laughs> Oh my gosh, you look like an absolute mess. She, is it me or she looks bigger? It might be because she has heckin' she like ice cream on her head stacked up like all the way up there. But she actually looks bigger, like taller. I don't know what it is. It might just be that. It kind of, it's kind of the, given the illusion that she's bigger and taller, but no. Uh, oh, Befika over here. I only have Waff Stack Rack, so I, Oh, we only gave her a foot and a hand. Yeah, we definitely need to give her more stuff. Waff, how? I think it's just going to be bacon if we give her something, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we know that's like a waffle triangle right there. Cool. Let's turn the rest of her into waffle. Uh, there you go. Sure, why not? That looks kind of stupid. <laughs> like, it's so minor. You don't, you don't even notice it there. Oh, yeah, Chandlo. We don't have any more bug snacks, unfortunately. Find notes on the mountain map. Yeah, we need to interview more people. Interviewed you already. Let's interview Floofty next. Yes. Because we just interviewed Snor- Wait, no, we didn't interview Snorpy. We did, uh... Oh, should we do- Yeah, because we did Chandlo and Snorpy. So, yeah, we if we're going in order of whenever we brought him back, we need to bring Chandlo and Snorpy next, so... Did we already interview him? Oh, yeah, we already interviewed uh, Chandlo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's interview Snorpy now. Here we go. Have time for an interview? Oh, yeah, this is a funny interview. I remember this. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Don't you want to find Lisbert? What if your name wasn't attached? Oh yeah, but that's what we did last time. Well, don't you want to find Lisbert, though? Of course I do, but at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. Alright, let's start the interview, then. I'll be sure to redact your name. <laughs> as we're, like, hiding behind the Gramble's, like, branch over here. Let's start out with who are you. Even though, we should we even do that? We, we, we could just skip over that. Yeah, we could just choose any one of these we want. We could just straight up ask him, where is Lisbert? But yeah, let's just start out with who are you, because this whole interview is funny. <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted. Me. <laughs> I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. <laughs> I love it. I love when he redacts things and you can still hear what he's talking about. <laughs> Why'd you come to Sacktooth Island? Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan Redacted. Cha who? He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Nah, that's true. How long have you and Redacted been in a relationship? Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? He did. Actually, in season one he did. Well, at the end. <laughs> uh, thoughts on bug snacks? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. Well, that's not necessarily wrong, considering they're bug snacks and, uh, or they're a parasite, and they, they want to be eaten, so they make themselves look really delicious and irresistible, and they kind of are irresistible and delicious, so that's how that's kind of how the parasite spreads, right? If bug snacks are artificial, where do they come from? I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I'd love to see the charts. Why did you leave town? I was too exposed. 
Flufty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. Grumpinati plot? What is this Grumpinati you keep talking about? Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Coincidences don't exist, it's all the Grumpinati. <laughs> Any info on Lisbert? Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wit, and chat redacted, blow an arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. I wouldn't even expect you to redact right there, I wouldn't even read the thing. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, what, what terrible secrets are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. That makes sense. <laughs> I think we're done here, Snorpy. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. You gonna plant something on me? <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island that came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. <gasps> this is it, isn't it? Snorpy gave you a map to a mystery door. Check your journal for deed. This has got to be the last thing we need for Agabel, right? Yep, return to Agabel. Let's finally go. Holy. Who knew that all we had to... Well, probably people How's in the going? comments. <laughs> Who knew that we uh, just had to go interview Snorpy and then boom, we're good to go. Let's finally go back to Agabel and be like, Oh, I know how this door works. We need three people. We need to... Oh, yeah, we need to... Oh, I shouldn't have fed all that stuff to Agabel earlier. Because remember, we do need, what, three bug snacks like like mountain type bug snacks in order to feed to the statues so now we have to catch them all over again just to feed them to the statues man all right well let's return to Agabel with all of our information she'll compile it together and she'll figure out oh yes we need to do this that and the other to open up this door and then in the end we find out oh it was in the wrong order whoops thanks <laughs> thanks Lisbert Anyways, let's go back down here to Agabel. Hopefully she's down there, though. Because, uh, she could be in, like, three- she could be either there or, like, in the, uh, in the- in the cave there where Daddy Cake Legs was. You guys remember first season? Or she could be at the very top of the mountain. Oh, or she- okay, I- I think maybe for this mission specifically, she always stays down here, which is good. So, anyways, it's been a little while since we've, uh, whoops. Man, I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> it's been a little while since we've, uh, memed around with- oh, yeah, look at that, now we have a ranch. Let's put peanut butter on her face. Oh, that didn't even work. That didn't even work. Oh, there we go. I have to aim for her feet and then it appears on her face. <laughs> she just turns around. Peanut butter all over her face with that derpy look with, like, not, not pineapples, but bananas coming out of her face right there. Split banana, too. Oh, and she still has a hat and the eye patch, too. Look at that. Well, I have Lisbeth's journal, and I have all the other information as well. Oh, my Grump. Where'd you find this? <sighs> Good work. Oh, was her writing always this sloppy? It's not doctor bad, but still. Oh. Who well, says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent? Oh, thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. You don't need to do this alone. Stop treating me like a baby. I think I did this one last time. Stop treating me like a baby. <sighs> Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. Sound good? Good. Alright, sounds good to me. So do we have- oh yeah, we don't have- we literally have no bug snacks right now. So we have Chili Nilly there. Is this- oh, this is uh, Mount Sodi. This is the, the cookie guy, Chippy. No, this is the cookie guy. This is Chippy. Wait, what is this then? Oh, this is Stoodler. Yeah, they're, they're, uh... You can see there's, like, ladles or spoons or something right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's Stoodler. This one's, uh... Not, not Sherby. See, now I'm thinking about Sherby. What was the ice cream one called again? I forget. And this one is... Flutter Jam. Yeah, see, look at that peanut butter jelly right there. <laughs> Looks so stupid. But either way, let's go over here. Let's try and catch some stuff for this. So, 
What three bug snacks should we try and catch? Uh, Chili Nilly doesn't come out until I think later on. We can get, yeah, we can get Flutter Jam pretty easily with just the peanut butter right here, obviously. We get that, and then yeah, we get the uh, the chippy pretty easily as well. Stoodler, that might be pretty easy. I'm not 100% sure. I just need, oh, there's a Flutter Jam, perfect. So. Awesome, and it closes in on itself because it's got it's got peanut butter, and then boom! Flutter jam, flutter jam. Oh, there's a studler here too. Oh wait, no, there's a chili nilly here too. Wait, hold on. What is the chili nilly? It loves chocolate. So if I cover this and chocolate, are they going to cancel each other out, and I can capture both? Oh, oh, oh. chippy, chippy, Come on, chippy. Oh, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Oh, I got him. Why is that guy so slow there? Chippy. Chippy! Why is the uh Chili Nilly come, needs to come over here and, and, and capture this or attack the Stoodler? What's the Stoodler like? Loves hot sauce. So if I cover each of them in the thing that they like. There you go. Is that gonna help out maybe? I don't know. It might not because he's flying and this one's on the ground. I don't know. Maybe I just have to wait for them to line up properly. Hold on, let's put a bug uh put that down. And then uh, we'll put this in hot sauce. There you go. Is he going to turn around? Hopefully. Okay, he's turning around right now. Chilly Nilly, you love the chocolate there? Or is he st oh, he's still too far away. Oh, he picked up the- No, he picked up Sprout. Ah, he's gonna throw it at me. I'm gonna catch on fire. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, yeah. I, I, oh, 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 I I think I know. You guys remember what we did? Uh, Can I pick this? Oh, I, yeah, if I pick that up, I'll turn on. I'll, I'll catch on fire. Lunch pad. Let's do lunch pad covered in hot sauce. Boom. Aim the lunch pad at you. Boom. And... We did it! I think they both canceled each other out! We got them! That was so easy, you guys! That was so much easier than boiling bay with a flaming hot chi poof since to- Oh, gee! Ah! There you go, we fell down. <laughs> We're back. Alright, Chili Nilly? Yes, I think that- Yes. Chili Nilly, boom. We don't have Mount Sodi. Stuler, yes. There you go. And then, uh... Chippy? Yes. And I have Flutter Jam as well. Oh, well, I, oh, I thought I could do it. You're okay. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I, I got the rest of the snacks. That's good. You're about as fast as me. Okay. Next she says... Oh. She says we need three Grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. It's not just for your sake. Well, it's that or go home. Hmm. I'm like, I think we talked, to, I think we did this one last time and we we're like, yeah, it's not just for your sake, it's for Lisbert as well. So maybe we'll do this one. Well, it's that or go home. Oh, what would Lisbert do? Ask. Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. <laughs> I'll wait for you here. Watch your step on the way back down, okay? <laughs> I love how- Oh, jeez, get out of my face. Ew, you're so nasty looking. Oh, what is it with their- Oh, yeah, those are the cheery ears or horns that we did right there. Ew, that's so nasty. <laughs> oh, all right, well, yeah. I actually step- Oh, I can actually step on this. Oh, what if I could put a- Like a lunch pad, like, like right there. No, I can't. Oh, I wonder if I could do that a little bit later. Like, if, if Eggabelle's on one of them, I could launch her up in the air. Oh, I probably can't. It'll probably be like a cutscene. That'd be pretty funny if I could do that, though. But yeah, now we need to go get Philbo. Bring him up here, because for some reason, Lisbert trusts Philbo. And honestly, Philbo's busy. He's a decent leader. Like, everyone else is, like, too busy yelling at each other and stuff. <laughs> at least Philbo tries to, to get everyone to, to be together and calm down and all that kind of stuff, right? But either way, let's just go back to Philbo. Tell him, hey, I found Eggabelle, and we need your help. We need you to go up to the top of the mountain and push down a pressure plate for us, so... Oh, I can hear the quookie. Quookie, quookie. <laughs> I love the quookie and the chip, chippy and the cheese or those little, like, little crackers and, and, and cookies and stuff that they are. They're always, like, scuttling around all fast, like, and they're really easy to miss. But let's go back to Snacksburg now, and let's go talk to Philbo. And just like I said, let's go try and bring him up here to hopefully help us activate the door, even though we already know it's not going to work. It'd be really cool if we could do it because we already know we have to do it backwards. It'd be really cool if we do it backwards this time and kind of skip stuff, but now nah, I don't think we do that. Oh yeah, we turned Philbo into Shishka Bug. I forgot about that. <laughs> he looks so nasty. 
Hey, Philbo, I, I need your help. You do? With what? Hey, I'm back here. You, you can turn around while you... <laughs> Shout. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think I know where Lisbert is. There's a mystery that needs solving. I think I did the Lisbert one last time. Let's do the mystery one. There's a mystery that needs solving. <gasps> really? Oh, buddy. Say no more. I am there. Look, turn around when I'm talking to you, Philbo. I'll explain on the way. Ah, nothing like... Nothing like what? I need to know! This is a... This is... This is a big mountain, huh? A lot of... A lot of steps. Yep. Oh, Grump. I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no. I'm fine, really. Oh, hey. You look just like my friend Agabelle. Agabelle! Oh, it's really you! Oh, you're here, alive, and not dead! Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you'll hyperventilate. Huh? Oh, uh, okay, okay, uh, yeah. Um, oh, are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. All right, let's go. Oh, Agabel, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Agabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> Terrible. Hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlo. Chandlo's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. Point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. All right, well, let's open up the door. Whoa, what is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lizbert get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Because she has to be. I looked everywhere else. Well, it, it definitely looks important. How do we, uh, get in? Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. Well, Philbo's already got his down, so I don't know if that's what happened last time, where one of them was already, like, down like that. What if I step on egg? Oh, no! This no! Ready? One. Two. Three! <gasps> Whoa! Oh, Grump! I could have killed us all! What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabelle. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and... No, I'll try it again. You two are going home. Agabelle, I want to find Lizbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. Yes, I do! I'm a burden to everybody around me. That's why she's gone! W what do you mean? I was being stupid, and I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit, and, and I was going to fall, but Liz saved me, like she always does. She got swept away, and then the ground opened beneath her, and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabelle. Don't be. I'm used to it. Please, just go. I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> You know, when I was looking for Lizbert, I got really hungry. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and then I fell in a hole. And, and, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry I could barely move. That's when we met, buddy. Philbo, th that's awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. Because, <laughs> you know... I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lizbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> All right. I get it. I need some time to think. I still want to figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then we'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. 
Stay safe. All right, well, we have two more interviews we have to do. And then after that, I help Agabelle is complete. Nice. We hit, uh, <laughs> we hit Philbo with the Ow. hot sauce. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Philbo. I should have covered him in hot- Oh, you know what? I'll cover him in uh, sauces whenever we, like, open up the door for real. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to do that next episode. Or do we even have time for that next episode? If you do two interviews next episode, we did two interviews this episode. And then we try and catch bug snacks because we need, you know, we have to try and turn everyone to bug snacks before the end sequence because that's a point of no return, right? Or else we can't get the achievement. I don't know. There may be another episode after next episode. I was kind of thinking, like, just a second ago, oh, maybe next episode will be the last. But no, there's got to be another one after now. Uh oh, jeez. We're going to hit the char- Oh, I thought we were going to hit the char mallow and catch on fire. <laughs> Thankfully, that didn't happen right there. But either way, let's go back to Saxburg. And I think I can end off the episode right here because we got a lot of really good progress done this episode. You guys got a bunch of bug snacks, fed them to a lot of the grumpuses. We need to continue doing that next episode. And of course, we did two interviews. We uh, finished up Egabel's quest line there and. Now all we need to do is just do two more interviews, and that should be it for all the interviews, and then... So the Philbo wants to talk to you thing, what is that? Oh, that's the major... So can I, wait, can I... I could do that already without doing the interviews? Where is... Oh, he's asleep, isn't he? Really? I thought I had to do the other interviews first. Hi there! Hey, how's it going? Everybody is back. No. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, everyone is back. Is there another party I'm not thinking about right now? Hold on. Let me look at the book. Big story. Yeah, for this one, I still need to conduct interviews. So this must be another party. I'm not remembering what this party could be, though. Hmm. Either way, we'll, we'll figure this out next episode. Because I feel like, isn't that the point? Hold on. Because the point of... <laughs> he just flops onto his bed. <laughs> the point of no return thing. I'm sorry I'm waking you up again. It has, like, a warning before it happens. Let's do the everybody is back thing. I'm very curious. Wow, it's getting crowded around here. I can't believe it. We gotta celebrate big time. This party's gonna change everything, buddy. Are you sure you're ready? Oh, yep, there you go. Point of no return. No. You sure you're done with everything? Wait, I don't want... Oh, okay, okay. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Yeah, so we could do it already without doing the interviews. So why do, why do I still have to do the interviews? I'm very confused. We might be able to just skip the interviews next episode, you guys. Because it sounds like, because, you know, the party happens, then the volcano erupts, and then Egabel comes back, and then we go back to the top of the mountain, and then we open it up for real, and that's, and then we meet Lisbeth and all that. Yeah, I don't think we need to do the uh, other interviews, right? Yeah, Floofty and Sheldon, we don't even need to interview them, but maybe I will just because why not? And then, yeah, remember, next episode, if we end up doing this, we don't want to do that major celebration just yet, because look at Gramble. Completely normal. We turn him into bug snacks. Philbo's already full bug snacks. Uh, whatever her name is right here is all bug snacks. Floofty is maybe like half bug snacks right now. Prombo's full bug snacks, which is good. Um, Wambus is like half bug snacks. Oh my gosh, Triffany. <laughs> Isn't it kind of cold in the bed right there, sleeping next to a literal pile of ice cream? <laughs> You'd think it would be, but I guess not, huh? And then Snorpy and Chandler were like half bug snacks. Shell does full bug snacks. Wiggles like half bug snacks. So yeah, we, we have a lot. Of, we're probably just going to be catching bug snacks like pretty much all that next episode or something like that. And of course doing those other interviews, because why not? That's probably all we're going to be doing. But then of course, after that, we're going to have another episode, and that's going to be the final episode, I'm sure, of season two. We'll, we'll do the major celebration. We'll, we'll go up to the top of the mountain. We'll find Lizber and all that kind of stuff. And then hopefully we'll end up getting the bad ending, right? But either way, that's going to be for next episode and then the episode after that. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new video goes up so you never miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Bug Snacks. Oh, bye there. Whoa.